Hello Mac Warriors, how is it going? Welcome to another episode of Mac Warrior 5 Mercenaries. It is time to keep going and what we have to do is uh, this year of Deliverance. It's another story mission and I would say we're gonna take this right away. Okay Commander, here's the brief. House Curator's internal security force, the ISF, has a problem that needs solving. A noble has taken unsanctioned action and laid siege to a city, demanding tribute. The ISF has asked the nobleman to stand down, but he's claiming that he's well within his rights and refuses to concede to their demands. The problem for the ISF is the noble just happens to be related to the hered hereditary, hereditary? A dictator of the state, not wanting to run an afoul of him. Uh, not wanting to run afoul of him, the ISF are hiring us to break the siege and thus resolve the messy situation without their direct involvement. You have uh, carte blanche and how you achieve the goal, as long as you succeed in breaking the siege. As in killing everybody? Okay. I'll drop you outside the city. From there, your mission is to eliminate all enemy forces and uh, in any way that you see fit. Collateral damage to the city itself will not impact the contract. Your conscience, maybe, but not our payday. Our employees were very clear about that. His exact words were, if it's, uh, it's not the city that matters, it's the principle at play. The siege must be broken. Good luck, Commander. Alright, the rewards are a bunch of autocannons. Oh, tier 5 autocannon too. Not bad, not bad at all. But I would say, we go to Sulafat, Sulafat and uh, take a look around. So, where exactly do we have to go? Right, down there. Before we do that, though, it's travel time. We have some things to discuss, people. First of all, our Black Widow needs more ammunition. We just stated that in the last mission. And we can definitely drop some heat management out of this. And we got a King Crab now. What are we supposed to do with the King Crab? Seriously. Is a Blackjack for sale? The Arrow? Oh, man. This thing is a machine gun monster. Like, it's the knife fighter. It's so good good early on but now it's not that much anymore there's also highlander highlanders are nice to have um equipment wise we get it here for ac20 we get a ppc i don't care about that right now and uh, just single heat sink. so nothing there that we want taking a look at the barracks though no nope, nobody there so we'll check out our battle max i really want to make that king crab happen i don't know want to put it to good use and I do have the feeling that one of the Stalkers can actually go. Maybe just the 3H, because uh, why not? The 3H has, has some more options than the F. The F has more weapon systems, but the H has more bigger, bigger hard points. Oh man, that's difficult. We could also drop the Archer. I'm always keeping, or I like to keep the Archer or some heavy mechs. Um, to see them in every now and then whenever I need to uh, mix and match my tonnage. <sighs> Do I take an archer out of this? We haven't used them so often. Is this a bit of a dead weight here? LRMs, SRM, yeah, I'll drop the H. Come on, let's do it. Drop it back there, put it back there, go to the market, and then we're gonna sell the Stalker 3H. Goodbye, man. You've been a trusty friend to me, but now it's time to part. Then we have a quick draw here that we will also just drop on the market, getting some extra money. Alright. We could have also sold the um, Orion. I'm not using that so often. But okay. So, Vindicator is just a money grab for us as well. And now we can take a look at this here. King Crab. Not bad. Anyway, um, let's take a look at the loadout of the Warhammer first, because the thing that I wanted to do is we'll drop that. And we add that and now with the half ton remaining i think i'll just up the armor again it's not much we will be under tonnage mildly but i think it's better better this way we have five tons of ammo for um the auto cannon now which is gonna be enough honestly way enough another thing that we could consider by the way mm, would be dropping ammo adding large laser nah it's fine like this four mediums and the autocannons there. It's just a good build. And it's a lot of fun to play it. Now, the King Crab. What are we doing with this here? Let's take a look. It comes without weapons. Uh, I'll definitely max armor first. That's the absolute first thing we do. We'll drop it to 20. <laughs> this is way too much back armor. Um, King Crabs suffer from a big center to also um, hitbox. So we'll drop this a little bit. Also dropping some leg armor back down to 80. 
And then a bit of head armor. 26 is good enough for me. Um, anyway. Two large ballistic, one large missile, one large energy. What can we do with it? We have an AC-20 tier 5. That could be something. Ooh. We also have two LB-10s. We have two Ultra 5s. I know, those are medium-sized weapons. But what about a mixed build? What about a mixed build? I'm just thinking. I mean, the Gauss Rifles, they cannot be fueled right now. Because we don't have any ammo for them. We have the guns, but nothing to shoot them. I'm really thinking about Ultra Auto Cannon 5s here. Sounds like a plan. And then I think we also have an LRM-15 stream with Artemis. And we also have a PPC. And now we're gonna stuff heat sinks into this as much as possible. Obviously the doubles go in here. Alright, let's see what we can do with it. I think I need like three tons of ammo for the ultras. Yeah, and then one ton of Artemis ammo and... God, this thing looks interesting. I really wonder how it plays though. Uh, rest of single heat sinks. Alright. Actually, let's put it in the center. This is a 2.3 heat sinking. And I like the idea of that. I think we have a good chunk of burst on this one. Again, Gauss Rifles would be better, but this looks fun. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, 34 days. And we have a King Crab. Also, we need to paint our stuff at some point. So, we're not picking up the arrow. It's not worth it for me. I don't know if it has double heat sinks, but if so, it would be very limited on them. So, no. Now, let's go to the star map. There is another rare weapon system. Um, and I will take the time to travel there, actually, before we take the next mission. Let's do it. Alright. At some point, we can also think about dropping one of the atlases. Because we have four 100-ton mechs already, plus two stalkers. I mean, we have five 100-ton mechs now. Ooh, large pulse. All right. I'm just here chilling. Uh, 57. Is 57 worth it? I think I'll just take a look around and see if I can find another tier 60 pilot. I'm just here chilling. And it's the same here pilot. Dickerson has the... Wait a second. Do we have two of them? We have Wilkerson with the same sound, with the same voice and the same uh, portrait there. I'm just here chilling. Will not taking them. Find me. There's another Atlas RS. I'm, uh, you know, turning them down. I don't want them. <sighs> Large pulse laser. It's an interesting weapon system. Medium laser tier 5. Oh yeah, I want that. Uh, and SRM4 Artemis is also a thing that I'm gonna pick up, as well as Artemis ammo. I think I'll do it like this. Alright, got it. Um, next, hmm, thinking about the large pulse laser, I don't think that I need it. No, I'm not taking Alright, instead we're gonna take a look around. There is one more interesting thing there. Doing a little bit of a sightseeing tour through this industrial app. I mean, we have a lot of money right now, so we better put it to good use in order to um, strengthen our mechs and just make them better. Um, this tier 5 laser might go into one of my atlases, honestly. Oh my god. Alright, interesting. Let's take a look at the market. Is another Atlas D. Alright. Um, nothing here. LRM-10, Artemis. No, I like Artemis on bigger launches, not on the smaller ones. Those things are not interesting at all. I could take a bit of more Artemis ammo here, though. We'll pick it up. Good. Barracks. Nothing there. Alright. So. We'll um, edit the loader here because the <laughs> autocannon is broken. Let's replace it real quick. I completely forgot to do that, by the way. Yeah. So, Auto Cannon 5, Burst Fire. There we go. Repair all. That's the Black Knight. Very good. Now, the Marauder just needs repairs. That's fine. And this Atlas here uh, is gonna get one of the better lasers now. Actually, let's make it good. Let's make it really good. Oh, wait. That was a Pulse Laser. Yeah, Tier 3 is the biggest that I have right now. This is an LRM-10 stream. Uh, I just put the LRM-10 here. Because it's a tier 5 weapon, it just makes so much sense. Uh, question is, 
15 stream tier 3 or 15? Uh, heat is the same. Oh, it's a tier 5. Tier 4, obviously. Obviously. So we don't need it. We don't use it. Artemis could be, again, a thing. But it also takes up more weight and so on. And I, I don't like the idea. So we're going to repair and start the work here. Um, another thing that I wanted to do was, was, was nothing, I think. No, it's fine. Ready I'll check it action. though. I'll check no it. Dropship, but boring as hell. Inventory. Did we pick up anything here? Inventory? All. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, the AC-20, of course. There's an AC-20 and a large laser, tier 5. Both of them actually quite interesting weapon systems that I want to put into my max. So we'll check out the Atlas D. Ah, uh, he's running an AC-10 only. So this one here is the big burst fire auto cannon, dude. All right. Um, stop the workout on the D. Thank you. Edit loadout. We'll put this one here as well, and this one. Ah, oh, the smack is getting better and better. I like it. Okay, and then we had a laser as well, right? Did we put the laser in there? Did we not? Did we not put the laser in there? I don't know. Maybe it was another atlas. Or maybe it was nothing. Uh, mm, uh, well, let's just keep going because we have to We have to keep playing. Oh, man. All right, let's go. Uh, to Sulafat. It's uh, 48 days travel time, repairs all of our stuff. And I want to play the King Crab today. I'll definitely do. Let's go. Two Ultra Auto Cannon 5, a PPC, and an LRM 15. Artemis. That sounds like a lot of damage potential. So let's see what we can do. First, though, uh, we'll take a look at the Battle Max. I want to go ahead and paint my King Crab. So that's the secondary color. BCODO is our primary. Where's the king crab? Come on, let's put it up here. Paint Mac. Oh yeah, that's gonna be great. So, B, C, O, D, O, O. There's the color. We have a nice black, uh, sorry, a red and white king crab. Perfect. Cool. So, campaign mission. It's an 80 difficulty. Not bad. Drop tonnage is fine. We can manage that. I think I'll go for the salvage because it's the, the, it's the thing that you do. Absolutely the thing that you do. Not playing the Black Widow right now. I want to get the King Crab on the board. And with that, we already have enough tonnage. Huh. So, if we upgrade this to a Stalker, say, with LRMs, is it good? No, it's not, because the Stalker is too, too slow. I think I'll keep the Black Knight here. Uh, he might lose an arm again, but let, let's see about that. And then we have the mm, the good, the gray um, dude here. Fine. Let's play. Let's play! We need to get Gauss ammo. As soon as we have Gauss ammo, we can put two Gauss rifles on our King Crab and just headshot everybody. The pinpoint damage potential of Gauss rifles is just so good. And if you add a PPC to the deal, you have three high-velocity projectile weapons that can see cockpits and destroy them so easily. So I'm very much looking forward to that. Attention. So, locate Attention. all targets. Ah, we are playing Assassination. Got it. Hangar doors Stand That's good. It could be over quite quickly, depending Reactor on where our target online. is hiding. Let's do Sensors it. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. This group has proved to be a nuisance for our employers. We're tasked with making sure that we find them and put them in the ground. Good hunting, everyone. Alright, we have exactly one target location. Good. Follow me, people! Wilco, we're moving to you now. Why Wilco? What, what is Wilco? Is it some kind of military slang that I don't understand? I have no idea. Wilco? Is that a, something like, okay, I'm doing it? Can you help me out in the comments, please, guys? I know that we have a bunch of military people watching this here, so... Go ahead and, and tell me what she, she just said. Oh, King Crab is slow though. Compared to our... Um, let's shoot that. Oh, it's not popped out yet, okay. Compared to our Black Widow, 
that I just played right before this mission. It's really slow. Come on, turret. There we go. Okay. Now the fight starts. We got a bunch of tanks there. And I need to learn the different velocities of those weapons. Definitely. Also, the different mounts make it a bit tough to actually aim there. Alright. Dangle down. Oh, and I'm honestly, I'm missing low arm actuators already. That's a party sound there. Mm -hmm. Good, got him. Good, got him. Lots of tanks here, crazy. PPC, oh, what? Hmm. Nobody saw that. And we got a headshot already. Wow. But let's keep going. Those tanks are no match for me, although they're something like crazy. <laughs> oh man, sometimes the ragdolling is so weird. Feels like they are actually not heavyweight vehicles and mechs here, but little balls of, I don't know, cotton. Oh, there's a mech. It's an Atlas. It's an Atlas. Let's try to burst them down real quick. Right, so far so good. My heat management is beautiful though, by the way. You can actually drop down... You can actually drop down one or two heat sinks, maybe? Who's shooting me? Adding a bigger launcher? LR-20 Artemis? I mean, those were... or... Hmm, bigger weapons, maybe. I mean, those Ultra 5s are nice for bursts, but they eventually jam. And look at my cockpit. I don't know why, but this King Crab cockpit is just toast. Alright. Weird. Are the enemies so good at headshotting? Goodbye Atlas, by the way. Hmm. I gotta keep it, keep track of that. Maybe the King Crab is absolutely not viable. Because... Uh, because, because... It, it's falling apart so easily. Hello, Locust. Goodbye, Locust. Get up! This is what I love about those Ultra Auto Cannons. You can just go nuts on them, on the burst. Eventually, they will jam, of course. So, maybe a different weapon system would be better, but sometimes when they don't jam, you just, you just do that. And then all of a sudden, enemies die in front of you. Continuous fire. It's crazy. Another Atlas, though. Oh, guys, 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 careful. There's a guy right next to us. Uh-huh. All right. Go for it, then. Should probably shoot my PPC. Show the amount of PPC. Let's try to hit his head a bunch of times. See if that's possible. No. He's gonna die before that. Got him! But there was another guy here, right next to us. Where did he go? I'm a bit scared of that, I gotta say. Maybe there's a mech coming around the corner, going in our backs in a second. But hey, let's just, just keep going. Mission was quite easy. Um, period. The mission was quite easy. I have nothing else to say. Our mech, the cockpit though. Um, hmm. Really hope that was just coincidence and not a weak point of the King Crab. Because otherwise, uh, we might lose pilots like that. Putting them into... King crabs. Not good. Doesn't feel great. But hey, we finished our mission. We're gonna get our rewards. And that was the first mission of the day. I wonder where the rest of the day is uh, putting us. Ammo wise, I think we have enough. We have still 133 shots left after this. We could also, quote unquote, upgrade those ultra aura cannons to something like AC. 10 burst fire, two of them. LB, ooh, two LB10 maybe. Maybe that. I mean, we have to manage our weight a little bit, and I think three tons of ammo is the amount that we're gonna keep, but then we have to drop some double heat sinks as well. All right, let's see what we get. I mean, there is an AC10 burst fire available. Let's go with the flow then. Yeah, I'll pick up all of those weapon systems. All right. Got that. Obviously, there was an Atlas on <clears throat> the salvage table that we couldn't pick. <laughs> Very well done, Commander. The siege has been broken. We've been paid, and the ISF has promised us more work in the future. Can't ask for more than that. 
It's an auto cannon 10 tier 4, not bad. Alright. That was easy as hell. Hi, Gov. Thanks for stopping by. Rihanna tell you I wanted a word. Well, I do, mate. I definitely do. Because the situation down here is bloody ridiculous. It can't keep going on, eh? I mean, just look at them. Standing around like they ain't got no worries in the world. And me, busting my balls to get these mechs put back together. It ain't right. You know what I mean? Not really. What are you talking about? What am I talking about? Oh, look, mate. No disrespect to whoever's been doing the job till now. But you've got to start letting me hire my own people, eh? Seriously. This lot, they're a bunch of bloody dossers. Try to light a fire under them and they just stare at you like they're deaf and dumb. And you wonder why I complain so much? If it were up to me, I'd fire the lot of them. Okay, I'll see what I can do. All I'm asking, mate. A bit of help is all. Gonna get back to work now. Thanks for listening. Talk to you later. That would be so cool, by the way. Um, if you could upgrade your leopard dropship in any kind of way, that would be so damn glorious. I would love to see that. Anyway, Rihanna has another task for us. That is quick progression right now, guys. I don't know what's going on, but the story campaign is progressing left and right here. Commander, Hello. perfect timing. Spears has a new mission for us. Yeah. Good. Securing the connection now. Go ahead, Sebastian. Commander. Good to see you. Hello. A shipping company, mostly supplying food, medicine, and materials to the outer settlements along the periphery, is being run out of business by raiders. My agents assure me that Comstar are the ones ultimately responsible for this egregious act. Paying these raiders to drive the shipping companies out of business means that people living way out here, completely isolated, will be forced to abandon their settlements. They'd have no other choice. We may have crushed Inferno, Commander, but Comstar's tactics haven't changed a bit. Comstar wants to consolidate their control over this region of space. Maybe they believe it contains more Star League facilities and more treasure, but I suspect it has more to do with the location of these settlements and the possibility of prying eyes. This area borders the periphery, not too far from where the ancient star map we found ends. Beyond it is the missing section of the map, here be dragons. Indeed. Full disclosure, Commander. I intend to lay claim to any archaeological finds we may discover in the name of interstellar expeditions. The mission I'm proposing is intended to undermine Comstar and their own efforts in that same regard. Though I suspect you'd like to stop Comstar as much as I would, especially seeing how willing they are to destroy innocent lives, I still want to make sure we're on the same page. We are partners now, after all. I would burn Comstar to the ground if I could, but unfortunately, I'm just gonna have to settle for Yamada's head. If this helps that effort, and we can do some good in the process, I'm in. And getting our hands on some lost tech doesn't sound too shabby either, eh, Commander? Not shabby at all. Good then. The company's supply ships have been hit constantly over the past few months. Their main supply depot is the next logical target. If that gets destroyed, the company will have no choice but to fold. Their margins are tight enough as it is. I need you to protect that depot, Commander. Consider it done. All right. Good luck. I'll have the briefing ready by the time we reach the system, Commander. Copy that. Okay, I would say we're gonna dive directly into the next thing. We get more and more rep in so many C builds. Holy cow. Okay, Commander, this is a project and defend up. Pr protect and defend up. I'll drop you as close to the supply depot as I can. Your job is to defend the depot and prevent it from taking any significant damage. The strength of the raiders has no doubt been augmented by Comstar's ready axes and uh, to a deep inventory of mechs, so it won't be a walk in the park. That said, I'm sure you can handle whatever they throw at you. Don't prove me wrong. Good luck. Uh, yeah, I would I would like to do that, honestly. But I would also like to refit my King Crab, so... Holy cow, where are we going? Gunsberg! Let's go to Memmingen. Oh, wait, Vorarlberg, Stanzach. Oh, those are kind of like the German names. Weingarten, Tannhausen. Ah, uh, Moritz. Kann this Radstadt, Kempten. Nice. So, um, we are going to Gunsburg. 48 days, uh, wait, what? 48 days, let's go there. This is where we refit our King Crab because I think we can add more punch to it. I really like those Ultra Auto Cannon 5s. I think we can also do some good and solid work with regular Auto Cannon 10 Burst Fire though, as well as the PPC, as well as the LRM. 
So, again, heat is not an issue. Uh, let's take a look at this, though. Nothing crazy. I mean, those things are crazy early on, but now that I got a bunch of them, I don't need them anymore. It's uh, a good weapon. I think I want to buy one, just to have it. Right, nothing there. Let's take a look at the barracks. Man, I should really, really play with the better pilots that I hired, right? Anyway, let's take a look at the max here. This is gonna just be a repair. The King Crypt needs refit though. Again, Ultra 5s. While they are good, don't get me wrong, they're pretty cool. I think we can do better. So, uh, we'll be dropping two heat, actually four single heat sinks. I know, right? Yeah, that's gonna be it. And we add, um, hmm, regular auto cannon tens or auto cannon 10 burst fire. We could go for a 20. We could go for two 20s. Dropping those support weapons all together. But I like to have some range so that I can actually shoot at stuff that I'm approaching. So this is how we do it. Oh man, those auto cannon tens. They are quite bulky in the weight. So I had to drop even more heat sinks if I want to go in like this. Ooh. Well, maybe the fives are better after all. Alright, that's gonna be our heat management. I will see if that's gonna work or not. This is gonna be a test run. Uh, we could also drop the PPC and add a large laser. Thinking, thinking, thinking. That might be an option. I mean, we have this large laser tier 5. Why not that? It fires faster. I mean, it has more DPS and this is about DPS here. The build in general is about DPS. I think this is what I want. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, so three tons of AC-10 ammo. That should be enough for everything. And then we can re-add some double heat sinks so that we have a heat management of two, which is gonna be okay. Oh yeah, let's repair. Okay, we don't have a 20, right? An LRM-20, that is. Um, a good one. That's a tier 4 regular. I would add a tier 4 stream, but I also like the Artemis. We'll play a 15 Artemis. All right. So, King Crab, let's go. I like that we have those tier 5 weapons already, and a bunch of them. Okay, repair the mech, start it here. And I would say, it's time to hit the battlefield. So let's go to the star map. Uh, just a bunch of random rare mechs. Still, um, I'm gonna go to Memming because it's on our way to the next one, and I'll check it out if we can find better pilots there. Again, I'll, eventually I wanna end up with a lance of full 60 skill pilots. That's my goal at some point. So we'll have to check around um, every now and then. And I think we're in a pretty high, uh, you know, high tier area here. Got something for me, big boss? No, there's nothing here. Absolutely nothing. Catapult C4, not a bad mag, not a good one either. Equipment wise, what do we get? Uh, LRM 15 stream, those are good. Tier 4 as well. I buy... Actually, I buy all three of them. I might want to build something later. This is all about thinking into the future. Maybe I'm going to refit one of my Stalkers or so. Whereas I cannot do it because I only have the Stalker Fs and not the H anymore. <laughs> okay. Um, anyway, let's keep going. 28 days for the King Crab to be ready. I'd say we travel there and have a good time on the battlefield. Let's check it out. Yeah, and I'm very easy on the money right now. If I see something I like, I just buy it. Because... I have enough. And whenever we play a mission, we will get more and more money at this point. Alright, waiting for the King Crab, and now we're gonna dive into the contract. Okay, it's a base defense mission, which is nice to have. Um, nice to play here. We're gonna use our Brawlers. And gonna get all the salvage in the world. Nice. Cool. So, King Crab, definitely. Atlas with the AC-20, definitely. Black Knight, not so much. I want my Stalker. I want my SRM Stalker. As well as... Uh, the Atlas is not a, not a thing that I can put in there. Um, I think it's still gonna be the... Oh, we can... Yeah, let's drop the Black Widow here. I want to see how it performs on the battlefield. I want to see if my pilots are shooting those auto uh, cannon 2s a lot. Okay. Let's ready up. I mean, with suede, 
I could have taken another Atlas, but I do believe that the Stalker, especially in confined spaces, when the enemies are coming to us, um, the Stalker will just burst them down so quickly with all of the short-range missiles in the world. So that's gonna be fine. Let's go. I'm at reputation level, or difficulty? Reputation level 13 already, and we are doing a reputation 12 mission, so I think the storyline missions are coming in one after another now. I like my versatile builds, I gotta say. Sensors online. Being able to shoot at the Weapons sky when the helicopters online. are approaching, or just getting All some... Systems like an LRM stream down to some tanks that are coming in is super good. Sure. If that supply depot falls, thousands of innocent people will be forced from their homes, Commander. Good luck. Alright, good luck. Copy. We're Oscar Mike. Oscar Mike. O. M. Um. Uh, what? Alright, we are Oscar, we are Mike, I'm also the commander. <laughs> we are going in. And we're gonna see what we can do there. Why not? Man, I really hope the AC-10s are working out for us. Uh, if not, we're gonna build back to the Ultra Auto Cannon 5s. It's all about how fast can I just burn through an Assault Max armor. And with the Ultra 5s, it all depended on luck, of course, because they have a jam chance. But still, I kinda like them. I also like the cockpit of the King Crab. It's amazing. I think it's weird with the with the glass there, though. Okay. Oh, there are some frozen edges that break the light in a very weird way. Oh, <gasps> that's a nice detail. Oh yeah, you can see that there. That's cool. It's cool as hell. And I wonder how the heat management works on this now. And we have dropped a bit. At the same time, we are not firing that often anymore. Alright. 47 enemies to destroy. Okay, that's 47. I do believe that those raiders are bringing tanks mostly, right? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, flyers. Get that. Get that. Right. Cool so far. We destroyed five of them already, so 10% is done. However, the base is under attack, and we gotta do something about that. I don't have clear vision, therefore I'm not shooting my auto cannons. Those auto cannons kick, though, like crazy. He's down. Wow. Also, I want to keep a keen eye on my cockpit this time. I want to see how much damage I'm taking to them. I still don't put my pilots into the max that I wanted to put in there. Ah. I know, I'm the worst with that. Forgetting things. Ah. It's okay, though. So, where are the enemies? Oh, there's one. Alright. Manticore. Scary, scary. Uh, we have to go there, actually. Let's do it. Let's just do it. And I think it's the last target before the next lance arrives. Let's go, Firestarter! Let's do it! Zoom! Alright, come on! Where are you going? Uh, yeah, the impact is quite significant, I'd say. That was a clean headshot, even. Alright, I guess we're gonna get some Firestarter salvage here. Yeah, got that thing. Hello, Locust! Mm -hmm. the weapon conversions is a bit weird, I gotta say. Alright, one more target. Actually, there are more than one target. Let's get this guy off the field real quick. Alright, got him. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Let's get through here. Get through here! See, this is what I mean, I think. I hit my... Uh, oh, I was pretty good on the on the aim there. 
But the weapons hit both legs at the same time. Alright, additional bogeys. Um, hello? I don't know if that's a good drop for you guys. Yeah, you instantly killed them. What? See, again, one of my auto cannons hit, the other one, not so much. But holy hell, are we shredding those guys? Love it. Okay. Got the large laser out. Can I kill this? 1300 meters. Let's make a long shot. Bam! No. No. The velocity is actually not that bad. Pow! Down he goes. Yep. Nope. Right. Nah, let's shoot the missiles, why not? Just a bit of target practice here into the sky. Got him! Oh, I love it. I love it. What's next? Give me some real enemies here. Please! Short range missiles. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, come on. Give me another dropship right on top of us. I am not doing it. Come on, game. It was good before. Yeah, let's go in though. 29 out of 47 done. All of a sudden there will be an Atlas just standing right in front of me, bursting me down with a clean shot to the head from an AC-20. Maybe. They have an assault mech, which is an awesome. Okay. Okay, he's coming around the corner in two seconds. One, two. No? Three, four, five, six. It's not. But we got a target. Oh, uh, those AC-10s are actually quite nice. I like them. If they... If they hit together... Alright, um, I'm gonna push out here. Yeah, let's do it. UAVs would be nice. If you'd be able to launch a UAV right now, that would be a perfect spot. And then we're gonna shoot our indirect missiles after them. Okay, where's the rifleman? I think it's a scary as I get. He's on the right side though. Okay, we go for the cicada first. Hello, cicada. Where are you? Don't hide. You're not allowed to hide. Hello? Really? You wanna play it like this? Okay, so the AI had some parting issues, and um, obviously, they had no idea what to do at this point. And yeah, yet again, this is a thing, uh, or a good example of why I like having some long-range missiles at the very least. Being able to do, you know, the shooting while I'm not engaged completely. I like the mission, it's slow-paced, it's easy. Down he goes. That is 35 out of 47. And now what? I'm a bit... I'm a bit confused because there, were on, there was only one lance down there. And now that we've destroyed it, what's next? Ah, alright, got it. Dropship is somewhere that I don't see. Oh, up there, cool. That gives us some time to destroy those flyers in the sky and then we're gonna go in. Oh yeah. Two of my people are dispatching though. Ooh, we're splitting up. Which is okay for me, honestly. Uh, yeah, we can also do this, right? Got him. Cool. So, uh, it is a good opportunity to actually check out our combat strength. Because only I and the athletes are here. And we are facing four enemy mechs. Let's go. That was a miss. Ooh, Jagamek. Uh huh. Got him. Cyclops! Alright! Alright, Mr. Cyclops. I tried to hit your center a bunch of time. Yeah, that's fine. No, it's not so fine, actually, now that I think about it. Didn't hit the center completely. 
And our LRM ammo is out at this point. What about our, ooh, our ACs? Don't have that much either. 18 rounds left. We have a mild ammo problem. Heat is absolutely okay. So we were going a little bit all in on the on the damage here on the alpha strikes, uh, which means a lot of heat buildup, and it's still super manageable. Let's get him. 16 shots. I mean, it's like eight shots like this, the double taps. Got him. Six enemies left. We exactly have 12 shots. So six left right punches. Oh, let's see if that's possible. Uh, in the back? No. Yes. Hello, Victor. Headshot. Yup. And... Uh, don't get in front of me. I'm aiming. Alright, let's go in. That was not a headshot. That was. That wasn't. Ah, oh, come on. One shot. Alright, that's not gonna work like this. Uh, go for the stalker, please. The stalker is also headshot. And that is it. That's the amount of ammo that I have. I'm down to a large laser now. I can destroy those tanks, no problem, but... My battlefield impact all of a sudden has uh, shriveled to nothingness. Uh, okay, let's go for the sky flyers now. Good. Last guy is the Marauder. And you know what? I'll try to go for his leg there. Let's see if we can do something about it. <laughs> the missiles though. Never mind. Center also it is. Cool. We didn't manage to keep the base above 60%, but at the very least we finished. Got it. Was that it? That was it. Cool setup. At the same time, as I was saying, ammo is a little low on this one here. We probably have to add another ton or half ton of LRM ammo, another full ton of AC-10 ammo, if we want to keep this going for longer. We can pick salvage, though. Huh. So. The Marauder is um, 22 for 5.8 million. I think that's a good pick up here. Uh, wait a sec, that would be 20 for 6 million. The Cicada and the Firestarter. And that's 26. It's pretty good. That's a lot of money, that's 7.6 million. Can I mix and match it in a better, in a better way? Probably not. Probably not. I think I'll leave it like this. And uh, pick up another LRM... Uh, never mind, we only got two picks, not three. Mm, picking up another AC2 burst fire, sure. Let's bring it. Alrighty, and nothing got destroyed. I am very pleased with that. Uh, the Warhammer, by the way, was able to catch up with the Assault Max here, so the Auto Cannon 2 is definitely, definitely blast enemies apart. Didn't get to get the kills, really. I mean, a bunch of, actually, yeah, eight kills out of a lot. That's good enough for me. So, that's the way it's done, Commander. Outstanding work. That should dis uh, dissuade the raiders from attacking again, at least in the near future. And the settlers out there, well, they can continue to live there uh, in their homes and on their farms, safe for the time being. That's worth celebrating, I think. On a side note, I have been making excellent progress on the first set of coordinates on the farther left behind. Shouldn't be long before I can break the encryption completely, but who knows, a few weeks, a few months? There's no sure way to tell. As for the other two sets of coordinates, they are more complex, they'll take even longer. But hey, one victory at a time, right? Cool. We get even more rap. And she is asking for the next story mission. But that is a story for a different video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.